Hello, Superior Shea fans and other humans. How are you doing today on the theoretical day of your observation? Uh, I'm going to shave with this NTS Solingen's uh, stainless steel version of their regular 5 8 razor. It's been living on the uh, convex homes for quite some time. Use the final remnants of this wonderful smelling rose shaving cream from Volfix, which, uh, yeah, they had a bunch of rule changes and this had things that aren't good for you in a different dosage, but in the little bit that they have here, uh, well, it makes a very stable and voluminous and fragrant cream, and um, it will be sorely missed. We got uh, two little sample scraps worth of Volfix musk left, and that's it. And uh, I have a beautiful Volfix brush back in that cabinet, but I'm st still worried that it might have a little bit of a shaggy dog smell, and I don't want to ruin the smell entertainment of that rose. So I'm going to use this very well used Rhine Dosh Classic with the walnut. And um, why don't I try to put as much water in that lather as I can get, okay? I'll be honest, it's been months and months since like a straight up soft cream like that that I use. I don't really use cream much anymore, but this stuff smells so good, I'll um, make an exception. Some nice rows right there. Man, that is a damn good smelling rose right there. Woo! And no one's gonna accuse me of having a good nose. Oh, if I could smell it. I know you can on the other side of that camera. I get a lot of comments on the videos, and they're fair comment, and they're saying, why is the lather so dry? Well, since 2021, what are we, five months in now, I've probably shaved at home two or three times. Shaving is basically a job now, because there can be no doubt that the more videos you shit out, if they're well edited and chopped down, the better your sales will be. It's just that simple. and. Um, I would say uh, 
if you're starting with 15 minutes of raw footage, the process of me cutting that and then going and editing that and putting it on YouTube, that's three hours out of your eight hour day. It's all gone. Uh, it's a good investment, but I don't want to sit here and be, you know, messing with lather that's running down my face. So since it's a job, I, I still love shaving, but since it's a job, I'll make some concessions to speed. But if time was not of the essence, if I'm on vacation, if I'm at home, I would fuss with it more. You want it to be so wet that if it was a drop wetter, it starts falling down your face. The thing with this kind of, what I call the English creams that had all the good, bad stuff, uh, they just hold a ridiculous amount of water before they fall down, but they, and they smell just, they just have such strong delivery of the smell. But they don't ever feel like wet going into your skin the way that the very fussy soaps that you usually see me shave with do. But none of them will ever be stable. Probably got two or three more shaves in there. And they're gonna smell nice and rosy. I had this razor a long time, at least five years. This razor has never shaved me like it does when I started concaving the crap out of the edge by using the wheel-shaped hones. Um, <laughs> it's laughable to me that someone could say, but that's not a difference. And uh, what's funny is um, on the German forums, on the German shaving forums, they're talking about the convex hones and the little shaping device. Um, but over there, the debate is, yeah, but it makes the edge fragile. And over here, the debate is, uh, there's no difference. <laughs> so which one is it? Is it no difference or it's such a difference that it makes the edge too fragile? Well, I would say on that fool's pass that I just did, that the extreme level of cushion of the height of this kind of lather, it helps a little bit right there. Generally, I want it to be wet going into me much more than I want it to be stable or voluminous, like producing a lot of flather per unit of soap. The, the cushioning and the stability and the volume are less important to me than feeling wet in my face. But being as that's what we're using, well, yeah, it does. It does do that very well, doesn't it? I had a little cut from, from the beach or something and I nicked it, but other than that... Pretty much damn near perfect. And this marks six shaves that I've used on this without re-honing it, so I'll be curious to take a look at it in a couple of days in the scope and see how it's holding up. I honestly feel like um, there's no difference in, in the durability of the razor. If you have the razor at an angle that's bad, it's going to chip it. And if you never do that and you always keep it low and you always stretch and you always prepare your beard and you always strop really well, that's the hardest one. Uh, a concaved edge, just as the factory would want it, is no more fragile than a V-shaped one when it comes to the task of shaving someone's face. Uh, I wouldn't use it to go chopping paper, but uh, for this particular task, it's pretty good. When we get cleaned up and get a regular shirt back on and see you, oh, that was only nine minutes of time, time too. See you in a half hour, okay? Well, we're about almost an hour later. I suppose I do feel the littlest tinge of whatever, uh, parabens are in the cream because it's been a long time since I've used anything with parabens. As a matter of fact, I remember the last time I did it 
was late in 2020 with a cool Polish cream that I have. But uh, yes, the razor is nice and sharp and she's running well. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.